What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Big Baby Jonathan here, man. Um, I didn't get. I saw the game, but I was so emotionally pissed off, like pissed off about the motherfucking game last night. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Three overtimes, he lose to the Sacramento Queens. That's just ridiculous. That's just straight fucking ridiculous, man. Like, I don't. That's nah, bro. That just got me all the way fucked up. You were up thirteen. I'm not even talking about the. The whole, I'm not going to talk about the first quarter for, for, I'm talking about the overtime You know Actually in the fourth quarter Lakers were up 13 13 points And you want to sit here and give up the lead And I get kudos to LeBron James for taking the last game winning shots I don't give a fuck if he missed him As long as he's taking him If he hits him, let's run it He's capable of hitting him He, he just had an off night You know He, had an off, he just has an off night And LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook. This is the 10th game together. But I'm going to keep it real. Frank Vogel, you got to go. You see the old bags. You got to get up on out of here, bro. You know, it's not working. You're doing the same rotations that Luke Walton were going to do. If it's not working in the first overtime, switch it up. Put Rondo in. Put Austin Reeves in. Put THC in. Like, rotate rotate it, man. Like, just rotate it. Like, rotate the rotations. Just rotate different lines. Don't go. If it's not working, don't. Go to it if it's not fucking working. Stop going to it if it's not working. Stop going to the same rotations. Switch up and Dwight Howard barely played. And if he barely played in the first half, I'm tired of Frank Vogel not playing Dwight Howard that much. He needs to play him more and more. He's very talented. You know, brings the energy, his hustle, his grit, his tenacity, his heart and passion, man. Put him, Frank Vogel, play Dwight more, man. Like on some real shit. Now I'm frustrated because we're 10 and 11 through 21 games this season. We're not a championship contending team. We're not. And if we continue to say everything's going to be fine, we'll wait till Trevor Reza comes back. We'll wait till Malik or Kendrick Nunn comes back. Nah. We need to fix it now because if we continue to do this, we're not making the playoffs or the playing tournament. And if that happens, I best believe you're going to see some changes. Yeah. yeah. It, it, Lakers, Lakers, Lakers got to get their shit together. Point blank, period. Oh. You criticize him too much. Well, then don't follow him. Un un unsubscribe to me. Because I'm Big Baby Sports. I keep it real. I don't baby players. And shout out to Angry Lakers fan, 80, 1983, man. On his channel, he keeps it real. He doesn't baby anybody on the show. Just like how I do. Just like Dan Lakers fan does. Cause he, they don't baby these players. They keep it real. And they don't go. They don't baby them. They don't, they don't baby these players. If you're having a bad game, they're going to call you out. You feel me? That's every, we have every right to do that shit, man. You know, I'm just sick and tired of Lakers doing the same same thing every every game. Oh, I guess the Kings will play around, joke around. You know, no. You have to come in here and win every night. And like, shout out to Robert Orr for calling the Lakers out last night. Shout out to him for doing it. He said nobody fears the Lakers. And I agree with him. Nobody fears my Lakers. You can go on a 7-8 game winning, uh, losing streak and be like, oh, we got the Lakers. Oh, we're going to win that game. We're down 15 against the Lakers. Oh, well, the, the, we'll come back because the Lakers give up 15-point leads, 20-point leads. So the... the the thought process of teams are having bad bad losing streaks. They can come in and turn their season around. Like that Damian Lillard was struggling. He came and played against Lakers. Now his season's turned around. Now he's averaging like 28 points per game the last 10 games and shit. Because against my, ever since the game against my Lakers, he's been balling out. You know, but what I'm saying is we have to fix it now. You know? We have to fix it now. Um... We have to fix it now because if it's not going, if it's, if we can't fix it, it, it it's going to be, be, uh, not, if we have to fix it now, if we don't fix it now, it's going to be ugly. But, um, a lot of people, angry Lakers fan on his channel, he's saying that AD doesn't look like he wants to be a Laker and I'm starting to agree with him. AD, bro, if you don't want to be here, just fucking man up, we'll put you on your big boy pens and say, I do not want to be a Laker anymore. Okay. There's some there's some teams that will probably want Anthony Davis. You know. He wants to go home, so give me Zach Levine, Lonzo Ball, and a bunch of picks for Anthony Davis. I'm okay with that. Like, if Anthony Davis, if you don't want to be here, just say it. Like, I can see where the uh, Anthony, where the angry Lakers fans talking about. Like, he doesn't seem, like, very motivated anymore. Because he did to have a quote, I don't have to prevent anything to anybody. And he doesn't look like that passion like he was in Orange, dunking on people, blocking shots, yelling and screaming, hitting game winners. You know, it's like anybody that's not on the Lakers, they get off, dominate. But when they come to my Lakers, they don't do anything because I feel like the 
the, the lights are too bright for Anthony Davis in LA. And ever since LeBron said this is his team, he's been not doing good. So we need Anthony Davis to man up, quit crying all the time, and get get in the low block and go to work. If you don't want to play a center, tell the coach you don't want to play a center. Tell him to his face if you have to. I'm just sick and tired of these players complaining all the damn time. You know, if you want to be here, just man up and say it, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I don't understand why he does. Like, he doesn't. He seems disinterested in being with the Lakers. That's what I see. You know what I mean? And shout out to my boy Isaiah Barber. He was talking about he has not been the same since the bubble. And Isaiah, you're right, bro. Isaiah Barber, you're right, bro. About Anthony Davis, he hasn't been the same since the bubble. Since that game when he shot, we hit against Houston or against Denver, and in the finals, he he has he's been injured, but. For whatever reason, something's going on behind the scenes. Something probably personal, but I don't know what's going on. He needs to fix it. He needs to fix it. If he doesn't want to be with the Lakers, tell him, uh, Rob Plink, you don't want to be here. Tell Jeannie Buss you don't want to be here, and we'll, we'll, we'll send you packing because we want players that want to be here, that play with that Lakers organization, play with that hard pass. Sometimes I don't see that in Anthony Davis. And I see that in LeBron. I see that in LeBron. He wants to be here, you know? And he took it upon himself yesterday when he lost, saying, my bad. It's all me, you know. He had a lot of turnovers last game. It's not just on LeBron. It's the team effort. We're up 13 with eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and then you lose in the third overtime. That That's not a champion. This is not a championship team. I don't care what anybody says. Until you prove me wrong, Lakers, this is not a championship contending team. This is not even a playoff team at best. I'm keeping it all the way real. We got to fix it now or it's going to be ugly. We have, I'm telling you right now, if we lose tomorrow, Oh, Frank Vogel is going to be out of a job within the next 24 to 48 hours after the Lakers v Detroit game. If we lose to Detroit and Isaiah Stewart, LeBron James, that situation's over with. Isaiah Stewart talked about it. He says he's done with it. But I'm so frustrated with this team right now. It's ridiculous. But, Laker Nation, if we can get through a Chris Kamen type of team, Jeremy Lin, Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Visa Zubak, Thomas Bryant, we can get through that team how it was we can get through this little struggle right here man so just i know we're fresh right now but we just gotta continue to chip away chip away chip away do different star lines do everything you can to fix this team man i love this team but i'm on the road to 600 subscribers man i'm at 562 so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and shout out to all my supporters shout out to dan the laker fan and your lakers fan man but make sure you guys subscribe to my channel man until then peace out one love go lakers baby peace